Hey everybody, this is Nate, and I'm back to show you another shortcut for Butler. So this is based off the first video. If you haven't seen that, or if you have Butler configured already, that's fine. But this is building off the knowledge of the previous video. So that said, we're at the point where we're ready to build a copy of the game, and we want to send it to itch as quickly as possible. So I'm in Unity. I'm going to File. I'm going to Build. I'm creating the files that we need to send up. So pretend we just did that and that brings us to this point so my build files for this particular game are going to be under dim and dim's a game i'm working on definitely check that out so here's the files for dim now we want to send it to butler i'm going to show you how i do it and then we're going to explain how to do it so how it's done is i had this shortcut on my desktop which is a bat file i'm going to double click to run it and it may be a little tough to see here i apologize if the text is too tiny to read but at first it zips it then it fires a butler, then it sends it, and then it says, okay, good to go. So I press a button, and that's it. It's uploaded to itch.io. So this is all done with this bat file here. And I'll step through it to kind of show some of the, uh, the stuff that went down here. Make this a little larger. So it works like this. First, there's basically two things to set. Set path to build is uh, the path to the directory which contains the files that you just built. And then the Butler name, this is the full path that Butler is going to use to recognize where your game is supposed to go. So in my case, it's Bunny Gun, the name of the game, and then the release channel. Once that's finished, it goes through and changes to the directory. Then it runs 7z. Now I've tried this with PowerShell. I can't get the PowerShell zips that it creates to work right, so I'm using 7z here. I had to add 7z um, to my environmental variables in order to get it to work anywhere. So that's 7z, which is gonna create the zip. So once you have 7z installed and set up in the environmental variables, you can call it. So 7z a temp.zip path to the build. The star is important too to make sure that it doesn't wrap the directory uh, in a directory. It just does all the files at the root level. Butler needs that to be able to read it properly. So once that's finished and it creates the zip, it then invokes the Butler command, which pushes to the path the file that was just created and then the Butler name. Once that's finished, it cleans up the zip it just created and then it pauses. So normally if it doesn't pause, the window just goes away immediately. In this case, it hangs out for a second so you can see how it went. That is all there is to this. Once all those pieces are in place, you can drag a nice little shortcut to your desktop, double click it, and just let it do all the work for you. Now, I know this only saves, you know, the process of going in and creating the zip file by hand and then typing the stuff in, but honestly, I just don't have time for all that. Let's automate everything, right? So there you have it. There's my automation. Hope it helps you out. Peace out.